here with Mike with more about writing. Good morning, folks. I rarely talk about my own work because I believe my work speaks for itself. Uh, but last week, I was attacked by a far left website called The Daily Cause and accused of stochastic terrorism. They described my last two books, Thin Blue Line and the current one, Private American, as racist. Nobody associated with the Daily Cause has ever read any of these books. In fact, the person who wrote the article, I had never heard of her, and she had a competing campaign on Kickstarter. They successfully campaigned to have our campaign taken down from Kickstarter. Private American is about the southern border. It's a forbidden topic. We're not supposed to talk about it because we're not supposed to recognize the decline and fall of civilization in which we're living. America has always loved vigilantes. Paul Kersey in Death Wish, Robert McCall in The Equalizer, and The Punisher, which I wrote for five years. We don't like bad vigilantes. We don't like lynch mobs, as in the Oxbow incident. We like good vigilantes, people who take up the slack because the police can't be everywhere. Uh, Curtis Sliwa in New York City, uh, Phoenix Jones in Seattle. Private American is about a, a war veteran, a Cuban American, second generation, and many of these people are often more patriotic than Americans themselves, who lives in Texas and sees the wreckage, the disaster, that has occurred because the government we have has erased our southern border. Now it goes without saying that no, no organism, neither a single cell nor a nation can survive without controlling its borders. Uh, I wrote Thin Blue Line because during the summer of 2020, elected officials who had taken an oath to uphold the constitution started calling for defunding the police. We all know what the results of that were. I wrote Private American because this disaster on the southern border has led to the death of thousands of Americans from fentanyl poisoning, thousands of rapes, because every woman who crosses that border is raped by the party that brings them across, terrorists and murderers flowing into the country. This isn't in question, it's cataloged in the few news associations that actually speak the truth. Uh, this morning, I woke to a very pleasant surprise. Eric July, whose recent comic, Isom, raised over $3 million, featured me on his YouTube video, in which he highlighted the hypocrisy, ignorance, and malice of the left in attacking me without examining the work at all. Uh, I'm very happy of the work we did, and even though uh, we are gone from Kickstarter, we are pursuing litigation and the possibility for slander and we can prove damages. Now, I hate this sort of thing, folks. I just hate it, but sometimes you just gotta punch back. In the meantime, support The Private American. You can support it at theprivateamerican.com. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel, Mike Barron on YouTube, where I mostly talk about writing. And this video that I'm speaking about right now is an exception to the rule. Uh, I don't choose my stories, my stories choose me. And my number one goal is to entertain. Private American is not a screed, it's not a leftist shriek, it's not a bumper sticker, it's an entertaining and exciting story about a vigilante who's trying to do the right thing on the southern border because our own attempts to maintain law and order in this country through the usual channels have failed. Thank you. You can also, you're also on a crowdfund, crowdfunder, what's that called? Crowdfunder. Crowdfunder. Yeah, but, uh, and we're on uh, Indiegogo, but the only way you can find our campaign, which is being shadow banned because it's about the wrong things, is by going to theprivateamerican.com. Okay, yeah, and then you can find it on the Indiegogo campaign as well as the crowdfunder campaign. <clears throat> All right, well, like we said, normally, oh, here's a little humor. It's a dog, Very Freddy. Little. So, like you said, this is not the normal topic of Mike's YouTube, but we felt like we had to make a comment on it. Thanks for watching. 
subscribe, like, comment. Well, keep the comments clean, but thank you for watching. Bye-bye.